I never even really touched politics when, when it was about policies that I know nothing about. But once it became about speech and culture, which is what I'm an expert in. Right. And, and I realized it was now infringing on my actual career. I'm like, I got to start figuring out who these people are and what they're talking about. Because I was having a conversation with a woman recently about the word retarded. Yeah. And she was like, oh, that's so offensive. And I'm like, why? It means underdeveloped. And she's like, you're a moron. I'm like, why don't you bring up that word? <laughs> yeah. that, that actually is from the eugenics program of the 1920s. A guy named Henry Godard. It means your IQ from 25 to 50. And she's like, you're an idiot. And I'm like, whoa, funny you bring up that word. I'm like, idiot actually means zero to 25. Idiots, quote unquote, weren't allowed to vote in California until 2007. And I'm like, <laughs> retarded was the PC term because those terms were so offensive. And and I thought that she'd like smile and high five me. But when I saw in her eyes that she didn't want to know anything. Yeah. She that was like, no, you're wrong. And I'm like, but you now know I'm not. And it doesn't <laughs> change your opinion. Right. And that's why I became a fan of your show is listening to you debate people. Even if at first I thought I agreed with something someone else said and how you meticulously stuck to logic points debate, top, you know, I was like, that's how life has to be to have a marketplace of ideas or else we're all screwed. Well, I'm, I'm, thank you. That's very, very kind of you to say, but it seems like you're doing a pretty good job yourself. Yeah, we've said mentally retarded on the show and, and they'll be like, you know, the one thing they always bring out, right, is they, they pre, and I understand it's a clever debate tactic to preempt their argument, to know what they're going to say. Now we do that, for example, but we do it in a way where we go, this is their policy, this is what they believe, this is the statistic they'll bring out, you're more likely to be shot if there's a gun in your household, this is why that's false. But they just preempt it and say it's wrong or it's racist. And it's the same thing they do with, uh, uh, you know, men mentally retarded is one. It's just, well, uh, mm. you know what, you, you, or, or if, you, if you haven't, if you say, well, listen, actually, I, I happen to work with black people. I, oh, 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 so you're trying not your black friend? Well, listen, right. that's actually a perfectly valid defense if you're accusing me of being a racist, saying exactly. I clearly don't hate black people because some right. of my closest friends are black people. Well, same when we use the word mentally retarded. My wife and I volunteered for years at a church, which they hate, uh, where they do a program called Friendship Club, and it's with special needs people. Now, when we're there, we're not going to be like, you're retarded, Tommy. You know, we're not going to do that. Right. <laughs> but every now and then, you'll describe something, like, well, this person is mentally retarded, and it's not meant to be hateful. No, and no. if you call something else retarded, it's not meant to be hateful. But they'll just say, oh, so you're trying to trot out your specially abled friend? A well, it's kind of a valid defense. I clearly don't hate right. mentally retarded yeah. people if I work yeah. with them. It's a very descriptive word, and, and no, and you know, this, it's actually a music term, too. It means slow to arrive, in, I think, in the actual meaning. But in music, it means you, you talk. You know, talk yeah. about retarding the end of a. Of yeah, you, you retard a note. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why. Like, I'm not throwing the word around, trying to like show people how much smarter I am than them. I'm not trying to bait people. But when it's a valid use, it's like the word niggard. Yeah, it's, it's Shakespeare. Like th th these words exist, and when people make people uh, apologize for like words sounding like other words, like niggardly means cheap. It's from what was that Macbeth? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, though, let's be fair. It doesn't come up in everyday conversation so often. Usually, if you're wading into niggardly territory, it's, it's a bit of a baited hook. <laughs> right, right, right. No, totally. But, like, there's, there's, I know some people that are so nerdy and cognitive to the point where they act like they're a little on the spectrum. Like, I, I have a physicist friend like that. And if he used a term like that, he'd get in trouble. And in his mind, he's like, but that was the precise term. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your friend's inner monologue sounds like a dog. He but that was a precise term. Uh, he was the guy who told me, who pointed out, he goes, uh, Caitlyn Jenner was woman of the year, but she hasn't been woman for an entire year. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, no, because he's a scientist. He's a mathematician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, Caitlyn Jenner times fraction of year is less than one. It's not possible. And I'm just crying laughing. <laughs> I'm like, you just sidestepped the biggest minefield in the history of comedy and you don't even realize it. <laughs> Like, you just used math. He also said that if he was in Gotham, he would commit crimes on clear nights because he goes, the, the bat symbol must reflect off the surface, and without clouds, you wouldn't be able to alert Batman. So if I was a criminal, I would commit crimes when there were no clouds. <laughs> That's the guy who uses niggardly and doesn't realize. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. We'll give, we'll give him his niggardly pass. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button. It's a circular button now that says subscribe. If not, head on over to the Young Turks. That's probably more your speed. Although they're coming over at Chink, we know you're here watching. 
Uh, I can smell you from here. There's also a recommended video box playing right up there. You can join the Mug Club at lighterwithcredit.com slash mug club for daily content. So we're not dependent here on YouTube. Shank, go. No. Go. You don't need to stay here. This isn't good for, it's bad for your soul.